Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here and back with another video on Electronium. Electronium has now hit an exchange. It's on Cryptopia, as you can see on my screen. Um, it's currently trading somewhere around 11 or around 7 cent. Um, it was up at 11, 12 and it was even up at a couple of hundred earlier on. But all coins, when they get onto an exchange, start really high and then they fall, find their level and then hopefully climb from there. So. In this video, what I'm gonna show you how to do is how to take your coins from your offline wallet and import them into the exchange. Um, as well, if you haven't seen my video yesterday, I done one yesterday showing people how to mine Electronium and I talked through some of the problems that people are seeing. Um, I have got back to as many people as possible today. You can see there's over 3000 views and there's over 100 comments on it now, I think, 99 at the minute. There's a few more waiting already, you can see, to be moderated. I have got back to as many people as possible and I will keep replying as well. If you're having a problem, please read through the comments and see if um, I've answered it for someone else. I'll do another video in a few days going back over the most common problems as well. So make sure you subscribe for that. And the other video you can expect is how to actually trade on Cryptopia with Electronium and how to my price predictions or where I think the price of Electronium could go. So let's jump in to the um, offline paper wallet. How do you import that into Cryptopia? So this will be the same process for any exchange. I'm just gonna use Cryptopia because it's the first one. And also to note, we cannot take the coins from our that we bought during the ICO and put them into the offline wallet yet. Hopefully that will come in the next few days, but at the minute it's not available. So the only coins that will be in your offline wallet are the ones that you will have got from mining. So this is the page you need to go to. I will put a link to this down below the video. You can download either the Windows, Mac OS or Linux, depending on your operating system. I've already downloaded the Windows one and I'm gonna show you that in a second. Another thing, you will have to have your offline paper wallet already. And I presume anyone who is at this stage of looking to bring their coins from the wallet into an exchange already has that done. So when you download the file that I showed you there, you get this zip file here and you unzip it and it gives you this folder with lots of different files. Now, the ones that are highlighted are the ones that are gonna be in it when you get it first. You can see some of these here are ones that I done today already. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, first off, I've created a dummy or a demo, I suppose, a wallet, here's the paper wallet, so here's the keys, and I have copied them keys out into a notepad file just to save a bit of time. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to show you how to send the coins that are in this wallet into the exchange. And actually, I'm just thinking I didn't put any coins in this wallet yet, so I'm gonna pause the video, I'm gonna send one coin to this wallet so I can use this one as the example because I'm not gonna be able to show you guys my main wallet and because you get all the keys. So back in a minute. Okay, so I just sent over, when I paused the video there, I just sent one coin into the, or two, co two ETN coins into the address into this wallet that I've set up here. So now I'm gonna show you how you First of all, create that wallet on your machine and then how you send them coins into the exchange. So the first one you need to open is this one here, Electronium D. What this one is gonna do is this is gonna sync up the node and make sure that the information you have on your laptop is correct and it's up to date. So it's gonna sync up very quick for me because I've already synced it today. For you, it might take um, a few minutes just to sync up, but once you have this opened, then leave it for a minute or two and you're gonna see you are now synced with the network. You may start your um, wallet CLI. So once you see that, then you can go to the next step. What we're gonna do is actually, we're not gonna open, once you have the wallet set up here, then you can use the wallet CLI. But when you're doing it for the first time, you need to do it through um, the command prompt. So if you go to run and then CMD or just go to start and look for the command prompt. So when we come in here, we go CD and then you need to go to this directory here. So we'll copy this and come back over here. And when you right click in here, 
it pastes it in or if you click up on top here and go edit and paste it will paste it then as well so we enter that enter and then you can see my new directory is exactly where all these files are so there is a piece of code that you're gonna need and it's this one here I will paste this in the comment section down below so this part here you call this whatever you want so I'm gonna say demo wallet 2 that's the name I'm gonna put on this wallet you can call your wallet whatever you like so copy that and once again we paste it in here enter so standard address so this is the public address so this is the one here that I want so I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste the secret spend key which is your prior which is your private spend we're gonna click in here and then your secret view key which is this one here we're gonna copy this come back in here and then press enter so you give your wallet a password so it can be anything that you want as long as you remember it so now it's created the new wallet it's asking um, from a specific date you can just hit enter here take the default it's now building up the wallet so you can see it has to get up to 7405 it's flying through it here and it'll just take a minute there and once we have that done we can then go and I can show you the balance on the account and also I'll show you how to get your seed your seed is a 12 um not our 12 word phrase is it 12 or 24 i can't remember actually but it's uh okay i'll show you now anyway what i was talking about so you can see balance is two on this account if you ever want to see it you just go balance gives you your okay so the balance is two and the unlocked balance is zero so it hasn't fully unlocked it yet that means that it is pending so it has been sent in it just hasn't been received because I only sent it while I was in the middle of this video, so it might take a minute to be unlocked. You need it to be unlocked to be able to send it. Just pause and check on that. And we're back. Okay, so you can see now that my balance, it just took a bit of time because I had only sent it in um, in the middle of this video where I paused. It takes a few blocks after you send in a transaction you cannot use that straight away. So I could see the balance, but not the unlocked balance. So when I see balance now, I can see I have two in my balance and an unlocked balance of two. And unlocked is the amount that you can actually use. So what we wanna do now is send this over to um, Cryptopia. So you can see here, this is my deposit history with Cryptopia. I put in 90 earlier on, and I'm just gonna show you now. If I go deposit and I go ETN, Next, so you have two fields here. So you have your ETN address and you have your payment ID. So we'll copy the address. This has to be done exactly as I show you here. And again, I, this is just a demonstration. Make sure you do this very, very carefully when you're doing it, because if you do it wrong, then your ETN is gone and there is no way anyone can get it back for you. So it's gonna be transfer, it's gonna be the address, it's gonna be the amount that you want to send. So I'm gonna send one just for this to show you how it works. And then payment ID copy, and then we paste that in after. So it's the address, space, the amount you want to send, space, and then the payment ID. I would say to put in a very small amount when you're doing it first, just to make sure you know exactly what you're doing um, because you don't want to get that wrong and end up losing your ETN. So let's go back to the command prompt and we just paste it in here. So it's transfer, enter, wallet, I password then that you previously created. So there's currently a one block backlog, which is small. As this thing gets more popular, that might get bigger. But for now, that means it should be very quick. Transaction fee is 0 0.01, that's okay, yes. And then it has sent. So if I go show underscore transfers, I can see that I have a pending out for one, which is what I have just sent. So I presume that's gone from my balance now. 
Yeah, so I can see my balance is 0.99 because I sent one and it cost me 0 0.01 to send it. My unlocked balance, you can see I have nothing that I can use right now because again, once you send something out of your balance, your balance goes back to zero and you have to start again to build up your unlocked. So let's show transfers. We just have to wait now and once that's finished, you will see it. So we click done here. So there we go, it is coming in already. So I can see one and I can see it's unconfirmed at the minute, but I can see I have 17 of 20 confirmations. So if we just go back here, pending out, I would say that that will be in any minute now. So if we refresh the page, and I'm still unconfirmed, 17 of 20, but that just shows you how quick it actually can be. So again, it's just gonna take a minute. I will pause the video and come back to show you. Actually, no, I'll just, I'll finish it all up and maybe it'll be in by the time. So that is how you transfer your coins. As I say, we can't take them out. The coins we bought in the ICO, we can't take them into the offline wallet yet. As soon as we can, I will do a video. So make sure you subscribe for that. As well as that, I will do a video on how to actually trade on Cryptopia how to trade your electronium and then what I think is gonna happen with the price. So that is really it. We will check here, it's still pending. And refresh here. And it's still unconfirmed. So look, we'll leave it at that. I can show you in the next video how it has gone in. If you need any of the links, the link to get the software you need for this. Um, also the link for Cryptopia, if you're not on that yet, I will leave all of them down below in the description. So make sure you subscribe, give the video a like and a share if you have got value from it. And thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.